Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I don't go out a lot. Like, I don't go to parties a lot or whatever. That's just because, like, I don't really, like, want to. I'd be, I be tired. Stop the cow. <laughs> Funny one. Jokes aside, it seems like we've only got two options. Look at the floor or look at the ceiling. Or else we might have just slipped up. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Did you see that at the start? The first video looks strange and the rest of the videos do look a little bit strange as well. Let's have a look at this. It is too. So if we zoom in here, the bench and the squat rack behind her is moving with her waist and glutes. I think this is like fit by scar or some shit. Absolute lies, video shopping her body to make it look like she has bigger glutes and a smaller waist. Then she can make money off selling her glute program to you guys that don't have any idea that she's using fakery on her videos. Look at that. Ready? You can see the bench and her glutes changing in the background. Let's go for the next rep. Oh, that one's so obvious. Ready? I'm going to go back and forth. The background is moving. It's a stationary item. Fit by Scar, you should be embarrassed with yourself, you using these video shop apps to try to rip off your followers, I will literally expose it whenever I see it. I've had enough of it. We must thank the bro for his service. I mean, she was pretty decent looking anyways, don't really understand the need to use so much Photoshop. That was a no-no. Just try holding your laughter for this next one. Head coach of the basketball team, Eric Musselman, getting involved as well. She don't like the standards have definitely been raised. Um, you should expect no less than this. Oh, Can you guys stop that. banging that barbell? It's really annoying. And I'm gonna teach a yoga class very shortly, and when people bang those barbells. When my needs are met and I feel safe and secure in my relationship, that allows my feminine energy to come out. He can expect to be treated like a king. All right, so let me break this down real quick. So we got a table and she's being served tea. What's tea? Tea is time, energy, and attention. She's feeling really good about herself. She's feeling happy. She's feeling secure. She's feeling provided for. And she's waiting to give back to him until she's fully taken care of and he's getting nothing in return. So what happens? He leaves, he disappears. Yeah, it is supposed to be a 50-50 exchange. Usually at the very beginning, we are the ones that are expected to pursue, but that doesn't mean that she could just sit back and do nothing. Next one's a reminder to be extra careful, especially if you are high value. Story where I got done f***ing a girl. I it on her chest or like her stomach. She put it in, no. Get the f*** out of here, duck. She I knew where this is going. She tried putting it in. Shut the you? So I, I acted like I had to go get a rag in the bathroom. And I, and I, for some reason, I was just so iffy about it. I turned around. She went like this. Oh, my God. Judge her off her exes or her past partners. Because trust me, she's going to do it to you, bro. See me? I have no shame in my game. I'm going to ask you what they look like and what they do. Simple as that. Then that's going to determine on how I even move forward with her. Also, that's going to even let me know if I'm her type or not. He was so respectful about it, props to him. You definitely can still have fun without interrupting someone's performance. You have to show some class. Oh, she was definitely not expecting what bro says in this next one. Hi, what's your name? <laughs> Jerry. What is your best 30th pickup line? I'm jealous of your heart. Why? Because it's pounding inside of you and I'm not. <laughs> Oh, that's a crazy one. No, I think I'm going to pass out. He called. 
guy anymore. Ain't that what you said? Even right here, right now. You uh, two things, or maybe three, but two things you should never, ever, ever attempt to do. Not only should you not do it, but you shouldn't even attempt to do it. And that is, please your wife or hold on to her. Never, ever, never, ever, ever, as long as you walk this earth, never. If your wife want to leave, you can tell her why she shouldn't go. But don't be desperate and try to make her stay. You will live to regret it. And the second thing, the more you try to please her, the worse she gets. As we can tell, this saying, happy wife, happy life might just be a bit overrated. Because your happiness must come from within, not from outside sources. You guys don't want to make the same mistakes that the bro did in this next one. Um, I would have saved myself a lot of stress, bro, in relationships if I just looked at the red flags and looked at the signs and was just mad enough to end the relationships early. Because what I've done instead is I've known early in a relationship red flags, I need to peace. But I'm such a people pleaser and I want everyone to be happy that I'm like, so I'll stay, right? And then I'll fall in love, I'll open my heart based off of a story because the person that I'm with doesn't even exist and then three months six months a year later she breaks up with me and I'm sitting here hurt over over something that I should have not even engaged with and I just wasted a year of my life with this person and now I have to think about you for the next couple of years don't even say my name just keep walking please Ew. we're good I wasn't gonna say have it looks like you were gonna say oh, he will fix it like there's no such thing as like oh that sucks or oh sorry babe you don't feel good he's like what can i get for you what can i do for you what can i send you what can i make you um like your tires popped he's like let me come get the car let me help you fix your tire or like he's gonna take it to somebody to fix you know what i mean like he's never gonna like leave you stranded or leave you in a position where he can't help you in some type of way I mean, I kind of understand where she's coming from, but it goes both ways. You cannot expect someone else's help without offering to help them first. Do not be entitled. Next clip is pretty interesting, but whatever height you are, still be proud of it. What his height says about him. Number one, we got 411 or below. He never step into a theme park. Even the teacups are too high for you. Just long, I don't know how you can be that height. Number two, we got five foot to five foot two. If you're at this height, you probably sound like you're on helium. Gravity hasn't affected your because they've not dropped because there's no way you can be five foot to five foot two after puberty that's just a general age range if you're that high after like something like 14 that's crazy number three we've got five three to five foot six they have difficulties getting girls because you know most girls are taller than them but they're about the same height and they want someone that's six foot dark and handsome they live a rough life every conversation that's done with them is about what why are you so short something like that number four we've got five seven to five nine if you're this height you wish you were taller but you're not so stop wishing Rarely, if ever, do you have to raise your voice to get your point across. And she also might want to clean up that room a little bit. Plus, cleaning helps calm you down too. Next one's just a reminder that there are consequences to your actions. Now I'm able to pay for my brother's college tuition. You keep breaking with I dirty. For, with yeah, because because you're you're judging me for what I do. Yeah, no, sh I judge you. Look what the what you do. Okay. You can make an honest living doing something. Be I'm gonna be Streamer. a dermatologist. But you know what? I had to pay for all my school. 90 grand a year. Wow, you have four such years, a hard life. Oh my more... god, paying for I'm your not own school. I have a hard life. Your own school? That sucks. I'm not saying I have a hard life. Man. I'm really not. No, no, it's no, not. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm tagging am... you right Hey guys. When you're really starting to win at life and when you're doing really well, you can tell by the way other people begin responding to you. When you raise your own personal value, people apologize to you more often. They stutter sometimes when they talk to you. They'll talk faster than you because they're nervous around you. They'll apologize more and they'll interrupt you less. Those are all very good signs that you're doing a little better than they think they are.
Now, although a breakup can be great motivation to improve yourself, it may not necessarily be the healthiest. Do the work for yourself first. Hope you enjoyed these clips today, and if you want the latest up-to-date dating news, sign up for the email newsletter. The link is in the video description.